Hey, this is Sandy, and we're Digitally Speaking, and what I'm going to show you is a little bit of what I do with NoteTaker HD and Evernote. And I'm using one of my day planner sheets that I made in Photoshop to show you what I'm just just a little bit of what I'm doing with NoteTaker. This is just a small fraction of what I'm doing in NoteTaker HD or what I'm using it for. If the iPad didn't have any other app on it, if it came with NoteTaker HD, if that was all, it would still be worth to me to own an iPad. That's how awesome I think NoteTaker HD is. It is my top number one favorite app that I use my iPad with. And the app itself costs five or six dollars, I believe, and worth thirty or forty. Knowing what I know now that after using it as long as I've been using it and knowing what I do with it, to me it, it'd be worth thirty or forty dollars. Of course you don't know that before you purchase the app. So that'd be kind of hard to spend that kind of money not knowing unless you have somebody that you really trust that talks you into it like me. Haha. -ha. Okay. What you're looking at right here is a screenshot of my iPad and I've taken several screenshots and I've turned it into a PDF so that I could kind of scroll through it like a slideshow and, and show you how to import one of my day planner sheets into note taker and after you're done noting it up you can email it to your Evernote account so and, and you can use Evernote and note taker HD back and forth you can just take bring notes from Evernote as long as they're a PDF and bring them into note taker and then write on them and then send them back to Evernote and then grab them from Evernote again and make some more notes and you can just go back and forth or you can just keep them in note taker till you're all done with them and then when you're done with them send them to Evernote to archive them so like I said what you're looking at right here is just a screenshot of my iPad so I'm not actually able to do anything with with the screenshot other than it's it's just a still image but whatever app you use whether it be Evernote or your email or your Dropbox to open a PDF you will see this box with the arrow in it up on the upper right hand corner and when you click on it you will get your options of what app to open it in and of course the reason mine says note taker HD is because nine times out of ten my iPad knows that I'm gonna open this a PDF in note taker but if you don't have note taker you just click on open in and it will show you it will give you a list of the apps that you have already on your iPad that you can open a PDF in now you don't have to have note taker HD to use the day planner sheets that I've, I'm giving away if you can open them in any app that will open a PDF and even better if you can you have an app that you can take notes over a PDF even better so and there are several apps out there that will allow you to do that uh, and I have several of them myself but note taker HD is my all-time favorite 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 app that I'm I, I've just I just know it real well and have used it long enough and it just does so much okay so once you click on note taker HD it will open this window and you'll click create pages and it will open it up here in note taker and you can certainly edit on the 
PDF just like this, but I like to, when you click edit, you have two options, edit one and edit two, and I like to edit in edit two, and that allows me to click anywhere on this PDF. And what it does is, as you can see, this little dotted, blue dotted line, it magnifies this area down here, and this is where I actually write with my stylus on my iPad screen. And yes, I know my handwriting isn't that fabulous, and believe it or not, even on paper, it looks just as bad. But nonetheless I can understand it and I really enjoy writing I really enjoy like I wrote in my in my blog that I really enjoy the feeling of paper and a pen but it's inferior because you have no way to back it up and no way to search it and no way to archive it well I guess you could archive it somehow you can figure some genius way to do it in a filing cabinet but really ultimately you want digital copies of your notes but still at the same time I miss the old-fashioned pen and paper and this really gives me the feel of that so like I said the any area that you click on on your PDF will magnify that area down here and this is where you'll write See, I've clicked over here and it magnified it here. Click over here and this is where I actually wrote the note down here in the magnified area. Same down here. So you just basically tap on your screen wherever you want to start writing, writing, and you just write in that magnified area. Another cool thing that Note Taker does is this icon right here lets you import anything that is in your iPad photo album. And I have created about 30 different color lined and unlined sticky notes. And if I just click on this icon right here, I can import any one color or lined sticky note that I have in my photo albums and you can rotate it and resize it and write on it and sometimes I've got sticky notes pasted all over my day planner pages and you can bring in photos of anything you can bring in photos of furniture you can literally make a collage in here and and use any any kind of background that that you want to set in the it doesn't have to be the day planner page or PDF and you could just make a collage or a storyboard of whatever you're working on or whatever you're brainstorming about another thing that you can do in note taker is there's um, an icon here that you click it's a symbols icon and if you scroll through here the symbols are endless there are lines there are arrows frames bullets check boxes voice boxes um, uh, time stamps just just to name a few and um, basically all you do is when you when you find the symbol that you want on your document that you're working on you just kind of slide it over just click and drag it over and you there you can resize it uh, point it in the direction that you want it to point you can recolor it and like I've pointed it to my sticky note which is very very important because I have made it made the arrow pointing to it red so that means this this sticky note is really important something else that you can do is if you click on this icon right here the text box icon is if you don't like your handwriting or you don't want to write and you'd rather type you can just open a text box and type away and then when you're all done at the end of the day 
you're done with this sheet, you're ready to start a new day planner page, you will click done and then output the page to your Evernote account. And to output it, you'll either press and hold on the file that you want to output or you click on this settings icon right here and it'll bring up this menu just click output pages and then it'll pull up this menu right here and you'll just put a checkbox in the pages that you want to output and this is this this PDF only had one page in it so that's the only page I'm outputting once you click check the box click done output sheets and then here you are in your email and I have preset my note taker HD on my iPad with two email addresses that come up automatically and that is my email and then my Evernote email and normally I delete this one so that it just goes to my Evernote but I like to have them both there because it's easier to delete one than to type one out. So basically I'll just double click on the one that I'm not going to use and backspace and it disappears and just leaves me with the the one email. Now you can delete both of them and email them to a friend, a family member, a co-worker, just whoever you want to email this PDF to but I email most of my note taker documents to Evernote and then archive them so I'm basically done with this sheet for the day and I'm going to email it and archive it in Evernote and if I ever need to refer back to it and of course I'm going to name it that day and date so if I need to go back five years from now I can do a search for that day and pull that that sheet up and you just double click on the the PDF and it's open up and you can open it up on your phone your desktop or your iPad and here's the other side so see it it's not it's not fitting in the in the PDF screen shot that I did on my iPad but of course if you turn the rotate the iPad you would see the the whole sheet and that's pretty much it and and I just touch the surface of what I'm doing with note taker HD it is it's my favorite app I mean I can't say enough about it and, I, and I'll make some videos in the future showing you some more things that I'm doing with it. I, I've made stationery and, and note pages with backgrounds, opaque backgrounds of, of fabrics and, and just just real pretty note note sheets and and like you saw my one of my sticky notes I have probably 30 different colors and lined and unlined sticky notes and forms you could make any kind of a form that just fill in the blanks form something that you can email your clients and and then they can answer questions and fill it fill it out and, and email it back to you and you can archive it in Evernote just so many things uh, I could sit here for two days make a video that's 48 hours long to tell you all the different things that I've made for note taker and that I'm doing with note taker HD so hopefully you're interested enough to where you'll subscribe to my blog and download some of the stuff that I've put on there free that you can use on your iPad and I'll be putting more goodies on there so check back often subscribe and I'll see you soon thanks bye